Hi guys, I am back to do a kind of unboxing review. Um, I can see I'm here to review my Sony. I have the Sony. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a camera. I recently just purchased this camera from Best Buy. And this camera was $378. Um, it is a Sony. It is it's the Sony Cybershot HX80. So I purchased this camera from Best Buy. I got it to use it originally as a vlogging camera. As you guys know, I told you guys that I wanted to start vlogging on my YouTube channel. So, I went out and purchased this camera. This is the box that it come in. So, I got this camera, as I told you guys, for $378. Go list the price some here, somewhere here in this video. Um, so, when you open the box, you receive um, these papers, the instruction for the camera. You receive this little baggie that the battery come in. Obviously, I already took the camera out because I had this camera already for about two weeks now. And you receive the string that I need to put on my camera because I'm super clumsy. So, yeah, that is everything that come in a box. I went to Best Buy and purchased it. I did not get a ship or anything. So, I also purchased, purchased this tripod here. This tripod was... This is the tripod that I purchased, and this tripod was $15 after tax. Um, here's the rest of the instructions for the camera. It's Well, not the instruction, the manual. And I think it's really good to go over the manual so you can get to know your camera better and you know what you're doing. Um, I did not do any of that yet because I've been so busy lately. I've been vlogging. Uploading, vlogging, uploading. So I've been getting so many videos up for you guys. I haven't had the time. And I also, March is a busy month for me because I have so much going on. I'm planning both of my boys' birthday and a lot of other stuff going on. I'm not going to get into right now, but um, a lot of good stuff. So yeah, um, I have this camera for about two weeks now. Um, this is the tripod purchase. Now I purchased this tripod because mainly I wanted to vlog with this camera. Um, if you guys recently seen in my previous videos, videos when I did makeup tutorials, I've been recording those makeup tutorials on my iMac. I have the 2017 version of iMac, of the iMac. So that's what I've been recording. And this is, I'm also recording this tutorial for my camera on my iMac. The camera quality up there, up here is amazing. Like it's clear, it's crystal clear. Um... Yeah, I just like it very much. It's right at my computer desk. It's a lot easier for me to sit down and do talk-through videos with. As I was, sorry for rambling on so much. I was so excited to do this video. I love electronics. This is the camera right here itself. Let me take off the tripod. I will show you guys the tripod separate. So, and I will get, well, you guys seen my previous vlog um, in Target. The vlog I did, I will list it down below. I will put a clip in here so you guys can see the image from this camera. So this is the body camera itself, and this is how it looks. And it has the pop-up screen, of course. That is really why I wanted this camera, because I know it's really good for vlogging. So once you turn it on, I say the quality is pretty freaking good with this camera. Um, if you start off YouTube and you want to invest, I say $300 is still a lot to really just start off. But I've been on YouTube now for about 9 or 10 years now. So, I don't know how many cameras I've been through. This is not the first expensive camera I bought. The first camera I bought was $700. So, yeah, I was going to um get the other Sony that came out that's, that every vlogger is raving about. But I know I'm... Um, I'm an up and down person. Um, I switch up a lot. So I did not want to go straight in and purchase an $800 camera. I wanted to get a camera that had really, really good quality, but I didn't want to spend too much cash. So if you guys are on a budget and you're really just starting off YouTube and you kind of want to get a feel for it, I, 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 still feel that I still feel like $300 is a lot for your first, first YouTube camera because um, when I first came back to YouTube, I just was using my iPhone 7 Plus. So, yeah, um, I still kind of feel like 300 almost $400 is still a lot for your first, first YouTube channel. But if you have the money, 
spend it. If you have the money to buy the one for $800, spend it. If you have it, spend it. If not, save your coins, use your phone until you get to a certain point in your career on YouTube. Um, I don't consider this career because I don't get paid for it and stuff like that. But um, I just YouTube is just a, basically a hobby for me. I don't have that many subscribers. I don't have that many views. I love it. It's something I love to do and it's considered a hobby for me. So yeah, let me get into the camera. So the, the good thing about this camera, if you love in social media and you love taking selfies like me, it's really good for that. You can also set up the Wi-Fi up here and connect it to your social media account. Like you supposed to, I haven't done it yet, but you can link it to your phone, take pictures on the camera and link them to your phone and set them up on your social media like Instagram. Um, all I know for now is Instagram, Facebook. I'm not too sure about Snapchat, but you know you can just save it to your phone and post on Snapchat. So the camera quality, this camera quality is really, really good for the price. So it has a, the camera shoots in 4K, not the video, but the picture quality supposedly shoots in 4K. I used the 4K yet because as I just told you guys, I recently just purchased, I only had this camera for two weeks and I probably put up this camera Within that two weeks, only about four times. I haven't had a time to sit down and play with it. I have not had a time to go through the settings. I've just been picking it up lately, vlogging, doing what I need to do with it, and putting it right back in the box. So, yeah. Like I was saying, it's um, Wi-Fi. You can hook it up to Wi-Fi. It say the, um, the still image is um, 4K, um, full HD. That's in the videos. Um... It comes with the only thing, the only downfall for this camera for me is that you have to hook the whole entire camera up. Like, it comes with a charge. Like, I've never seen a charge like this. Like, I had a, um, the other camera you guys previous, previously seen me had, you know, you would take the battery out, put the battery in a little battery kit, and charge it up in a wall. But now... You take your little charger, you take the little USB cord it gave you, and you charge the whole thing into the wall. So if you do purchase this camera and you're going to be vlogging like all day, are you vlogging a trip? Are you going to be vlogging that, throughout that whole entire day? I will suggest you guys go on Amazon or go to Best Buy. I don't know if Best Buy holds these batteries in stock. It a second battery even just to have a backup i will be purchasing one soon as i tell you guys i've been playing i haven't been able to get to my camera and because i love 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 electronics so i haven't been able to get to my camera just sit down and play with the settings all that so it's still kind of new to me um the feel of it i love the feel of it. i love how it feels in the hand it's really small you guys can see i have big hands because i'm a plus size girl so why Anyway, um, it feels small in the hand. It's not chunky. It's really, really light. That's what I like about it. Um, heard that a lot of people have an issue with this flip-out screen. And that's, I mean, basically that's going to happen if you're constantly flipping it up and down. It all depends on how you care for your stuff. Now, if you hold it like this and treat it like a baby, it will last long, longer. If you're throwing it around, not putting it in a, in a camera bag and everything, it's not going to last long. Because it's electronics. Like, you have to take care of yourself. And if you pay almost $400 for something, I will expect that you will take care of it. It's a really good camera. Um, I like it. I say it's really good for vlogging. I'm not really sure. Let's, because I just, just did a makeup tutorial. Now, let's see how the quality came out. The quality in this camera is, like, amazing. Like, I, myself, I think the quality is really, really good. So, um, I just recently recorded a makeup tutorial, the look I have on now. Um, you guys will see this soon. I don't know what video you will see first, but from what I'm watching, it's super, super crispy. So crispy to the point you can see the hair standing up on my head. So, I think the quality in this camera is, like, pretty freaking amazing. It's awesome. It's good for the price. Um... This is more so on unboxing, and my opinions on it, I didn't do a really good, like, in-depth review because I'm not a geeky, techie person that know things about camera. I just know what I need to know to make it work. Now, as I told you guys, I did purchase this tripod. This tripod did not come with this camera. I purchased this tripod for $15, so this is a tripod I have. 
The tripod is not sturdy at I mean, it's sturdy, but it's a little flimsy. You're paying $15 for a little tripod. But, um, um, yeah, they have so many different tripods you can purchase. They have tripods for $80. They have tripods for $100. So, I've seen so many tripods at Best Buy, Target. So, whatever works best for you, I say get a really, really, really good, reliable tripod because... As you know, you just pay almost four hundred dollars for a camera, so you want to make sure the camera is protected. So yeah, um, I hope I just um touch bases with that on you guys. I think it's good for makeup tutorials. If you're looking for this camera to do makeup tutorials, it's a go. If you're looking for this camera to just take pictures with and for birthday parties for special occasion, it's a go because the videos are crispy on this um camera. So. Big, 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 big key the guy was telling me at the um, Best Buy store. He was really nice and really friendly and helped me out a lot. He was saying it all depends on the, because I, I know a lot of people were stating that they didn't like Sony or DSLR cameras because the um, it overheats and it burns out really fast. So he was saying the issue with that is that you if you have a really small SIM card, you know, the little, um, um, SD card that you buy to hold your memory and all that. He was saying that if you get a small one, like a 32 gig and down, he was saying that the camera, he said the SIM card is really small and it don't have that much memory on it. SIM card is trying to kept, catch up with the camera. So it's burning out trying to catch all that quality and everything you're doing with it. It's burning out trying to catch up with the, um, that SIM card is burning out trying to catch up to the camera so it causes the camera to overheat. So he was stating that he think you should get a 32 gigabytes um a 32 um sim card and up. He say that you should have no issues after that. I don't know if any other people experience that but that's that heck I didn't make this up. That's what the guy was telling me. So yeah I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. I thought it was a very helpful tip. The SIM card I'm using right now is a 32 gigabyte. I am going to go up to the 64. 32 has been working for me very well, so I'm very happy with it. Um, so the camera is off. You hit this little button right here. It flops up and come on. So excuse my ashy hands. I just did a makeup tutorial and my hands are very ashy from <clears throat> washing my hands. So, um... Let me do a little camera and camera thing for you guys. Currently doing, and it's really good in low light. I'm current currently doing a video for you guys. I just wanted to get a little camera camera action for you guys. Hey, 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 hey. You guys want to see Mason? He's the cutest. Uh, are you the cutest? So yeah, you are. Time. I've been putting this video off so long. I've been having so much go on the last couple of days i'm trying to catch up on videos i'm trying to fix my channel because you guys know i just came back so i'm sorry it took me so long to upload this video people have been asking me over and over um are you still gonna upload a video about the camera overall my opinion it's <clears throat> it's a really really good camera for the price it's really good the quality is amazing so let me show you guys the box And I'm just showing you guys everything that it goes over in the camera. And let me get a thumbnail. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm so excited to make this video for you guys because I love electronics so much. Um, let me know if you want to know more about the camera. I will put this as unboxing slash a mini review i'll just give you all my opinion getting straight to it it's awesome for makeup tutorials it's awesome for vlogging it's awesome for family trips it's awesome for pictures so yeah guys um check out this camera if you're looking for a really inexpensive camera to start off your youtube channel which you could just use your iphone i have an iphone 7 plus and the quality was really good i have a um imac a 2017 version of iMac. The quality up here is really good, but you can't pick this up and go. It's really good for sit-down videos. So, yeah. 
Let me know if I answer all you guys' questions. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I will be so happy to answer them for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Hope you guys, because today is Thursday, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I love you guys and thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.